Greetings. I'm Joe French, and I'm coming to you from my classroom in Mount Pleasant, Utah. And this is topic 2.1, defining average and instantaneous rates of change at a point. And these are some examples of how we might use the concept in some questions. So let's look at our first example. Here we want to find the average rate of change of f of x on the interval from x equals negative 1 to x equals 2 for the function below. Now, our interval notation here means that we are traveling from x equals negative 1 to x equals 2, which means that using our average rate of change formula, we need to calculate the points when x equals negative 1 and x equals 2. So at negative 1, if I plug negative 1 into my equation, and then I will plug 2 also into my equation so that I can calculate my average rate of change, the slope of my secant line. So at negative 1, I get negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1, which means I get 1 plus 2, or 3. So my point is negative 1, comma, 3. At 2, I get 2 squared minus 2 times 2, which is 0. So here, the point is 2, comma, 0. Using my average rate of change formula, I get 0 minus 3 over 2 minus negative 1, which is negative 3 over 2 plus 1, or 3, which means my average rate of change over that interval is negative 1. So when I have an equation and they give me the x values, I plug them in to complete the points I need to use the average rate of change formula. If I have a table, and now I'm looking at the interval from negative 3 to 2, finding the average rate of change of g of x. I need to see that at 2, when x is 2, my y value is 5, or my g value. At negative 3, my g value is negative 4. So now I have my points, and I can use my average rate of change formula. So negative 4 minus 5 over negative 3 minus 2, which gives me negative 9 over negative 5, which simplifies to a positive 9 fifths. My average rate of change is 9 fifths. For a third example, let f be the function defined by the function below. So this function here, tangent of x plus e to the x, the average rate of change of f over the interval from 1 to c is 1.5. So they're giving me the average rate of change, but they're not giving me all the information about the interval they normally would. So I need to develop an equation that could be used to find the value of c. Well, the average rate of change equation, as always, f of x2 minus f of x1 over x2 minus x1. So my first value of x is 1, and then my y value would be f of 1, which I could get from a calculator, tangent of 1 plus e to the 1, but we'll just keep it as f of 1 for now. and then. My second point, the x value is c, and which would mean that my y value, my output, would be f of c. And if I use these points in my average rate of change formula, so f of c minus f of 1 over c minus 1, that should give me my average rate of change, which they told me 
in the question was 1.5. Once I had these, this, ex these, this expression, I could plug y1 using this expression and replacing my c's with x's. And y2, I could set equal to 1.5, find their intersection, and solve for c. But I don't need to actually solve for c in this question. I just need to develop the equation. So f of c minus f of 1 over c minus 1 will give me 1.5. And that's the end of our examples.